What do you think, GB1? Do I look like Thor? No? Okay. Well, how about now? It's the no hair, isn't it? Hey everyone, and welcome to Group Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and this is my friend, GB1. In this episode, we're going to be looking at building Stormbreaker from the Metal Earth Marvel line. And this is our first build from that collection. And with its really cool colors and unique shapings, I think it's a great place for us to start. I'm actually really excited to add to our collection too, GB1. And if you're looking to add this to your collection after today's show, make sure you look at GrooveBuilders.ca. we got all kinds of really cool builds on there with great prices and fast shipping to the United States and Canada. Well, that's right too. If you use the promo code SHIPTHIS on all orders $65 Canadian and over, you can get free two-day shipping to anywhere in the United States and Canada. That's a pretty sweet deal. Okay, enough store promotion. Let's get down to the workbench and take a look at our package. Group Builders, welcome to the workbench. We have Stormbreaker from the Metal Earth Avengers Endgame series, and this is our first model from the Marvel Collection over at Metal Earth. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited for this one, especially with all of its color and unique detail. I think it's going to be really neat when everything's together, and I'm curious about how well this hammer, or uh, I guess you could say axe, actually sits on its rock. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, we give some brief instructions on how to build our model, followed by a difficulty rating here of just over medium. Then we have a look at our finished build, and a really cool QR code which we can scan to get a 360 look of our build as we're building. This comes in handy when we're adding little bits of detail onto our model. Finally, at the bottom, we get a look at some other models in the Marvel series, and I gotta say, some of them look pretty intense. Groovers, let's go ahead and open up our package. We have our instructions. And we have our two sheets of metal. You know what's funny when I look at this? This metal almost reminds me of the Flintstone build we did not too long ago. Let's take a closer look at those instructions. Okay, we have three pages of building and 31 parts to form. This hammer doesn't look too hard, but I do see some things that we need to take a closer look at. The first being right here with the way the rock is formed. The second thing will definitely be about this hammer part right here. And lastly, we're gonna talk about the tricky pieces that might ruin the entire build if you're not careful. Yes, that last one is important, but before we get into it, we need to cover the metal model basics for all those new builders out there. First things first, these metal models require us to cut out our pieces, then shape them using whatever we can. Once we have our parts correctly shaped, we can connect them together by bending and twisting our tabs. The way we bend or twist our tabs is indicated in the instructions by these circles and triangles. Personally, I always try to follow the instructions the first time when it comes to bending my tabs if I can. Then, when the build is complete, I'll go over everything again and change any of the tabs that might stand out. I like to make the tabs as invisible as possible. That's how we get that mythical quality, worthy of the gods. Next up, we have tools. What do you need to build the legendary Stormbreaker? That's a good question. Oh, Timothy? Hello, Groovers. I'm Timothy, the tool expert. Building inferior technology like Stormbreaker requires nippers, tweezers, mandrills, and dapping punches. I wouldn't say inferior tech there, Timothy, but good tool recommendations. Now, these are just our suggestions, and you really don't need anything but tweezers and nippers to get the job done. But of course, having the right tools will make your life a lot easier. All right, we've looked at our instructions and we have all of our tools. There's only one thing left to do. Oh, Drogon, you're a good boy. I know you're hungry, but just a few moments. Oh, hey, I'm glad you're here. You know, taking care of dragons is hard work. I should know, I have three. And Drogon here is no exception. You know what they have a unique taste for? Unsubscribe don't likers definitely don't want to be one of them. Oh, calm down, Drogon. Calm down. Do you? Oh, come on, buddy. I know you're hungry. It's okay. Everything's good. You see? Look, they subscribed and they liked. Everything's good here. Thank you so much. Let's get on to the build. 
Stormbreaker from Metal Earth is the fourth colored model in the Marvel line. With the way Fascinations has changed the coloring process and design style in the last year, Stormbreaker definitely stands out in the series. That new detail though does come with some difficult steps. The first thing we're going to be taking a look at is forming the rock base. These pieces are shaped very oddly and you will need to pay extra close attention to these blue arrows in the instructions to get the right shape. You can also use other pieces to help you understand how much of a bend you need. Once both of these parts have been shaped to the best of your ability using those blue arrows, bring them together, pre-bending the tabs before inserting them. This is where you can make those small adjustments that you need to be able to get everything together. Just be careful not to scratch the paint with those tabs that aren't quite in yet. It's very easy to do. Adding some parts of our rock together can be very tedious too, like with parts 4 and 5, 8 and 9. With these pieces, you will have to bend all the tabs down, but doing so will cause the parts to easily fall off one another until they're fully installed. To avoid the headache, just simply twist one of the tabs. This will make the parts steady for you and allow you to install it without any trouble. Just don't forget to go back afterwards and bend that tab down. Lastly, when you're bringing your parts together, if you're finding the tabs are too far away for their insertion holes, double check your work. With this rock having so many unique shapes, it's very easy to over or under bend your parts. I know that adding the second half of the rock for me was a little bit challenging, and I had to make a lot of small adjustments to get my tabs in the right place. Not to mention the amount of pressure I had to use to get my gaps to go away. I almost needed a hammer. And speaking of hammer, the second thing I want to talk about is part 19 and 20. This is our basic hammer shape. Again, here it's very important to pay close attention to those blue arrows showing you where to start forming. It's easy to get misguided with this part. Once you have this basic shape, it's time to add part 20. Now, I really messed this up the first time around and it took me building most of the hammer to realize my mistake. Don't do what I did. Make sure to bend part 20 in a V shape with the detail on the inside of the V. I know it sounds like a silly small thing, but I can't tell you how much of a problem this was to fix. Thinking about it though, there are other parts that can cause way more trouble. Which brings us to our third and final point. Some parts here need to be orientated correctly in order for them to be able to fit together. Let's look at part 24, 25, and 26. Now at first look, part 24 looks to be the same all the way down, but look again it's a little bit narrower at the bottom. This is important to remember. Later, when you go to put parts 25 and 26 in their place, you will need to roll part 24 into them to get a good connection. If the holes aren't quite matching up, you might have the wrong piece on that end of the stick. You can definitely still connect them together on the wrong end, but when everything is said and done, you'll have massive gaps because the pieces aren't meant to go there. I actually completed this entire build only to realize I did that. That's what happens when you try to build a mythical weapon at 1 o'clock in the morning. Taking this build apart is not fun. The metal, although strong, feels really brittle and unfortunately I broke a few tabs when trying to connect parts 25 and 26. This led to my hammer being very wobbly on the top. The way I decided to fix this was with a little bit of glue. Even experienced builders have to use glue every now and then. Don't be me. Take your time and look at the small details on the parts to make sure that you're getting it right the first time. And there we go, Stormbreaker, in just under two hours. Nice. Alright, and there we go, we have Stormbreaker from the Metal Earth Marble line. This build looks really good when complete, especially with all this really neat detail and color that they decided to put in with this build. You know, Metal Earth over the last year has done a really good job with their coloring, and it makes me think that they're going to possibly go back and redo some of the older line models, like the one here that I have, which is Thor's Hammer. I mean, sure, Thor's Hammer does look really cool. I mean, the etched detail here does look neat. But when you compare the two of them together, I mean, there really is just no comparison. The engraved and etched detail and color that you have on Stormbreaker is just so much better. Now, this build isn't without its heartaches, especially as you saw, I definitely had some times with the handle here and getting the hammer together, but I really can't blame that on the model. You know, everyone has a bad modeling day, and I think that just may have been mine. 
But overall, I really can recommend this for new builders out there, especially if you're a fan of Marvel and Thor. You kind of almost owe it to yourself to pick this one up, especially if you're looking to get into Metal Earth. And with that, Groove Builders, we're at the end of our show. I had a really good time building Stormbreaker with you, and if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well, as we got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Want to help the channel grow? Check out GrooveBuilders.ca. We got all kinds of really cool models on there at great prices with fast shipping. All right now, Groovers, let me see if I can get myself all sorted out here. All right. What do you think, GB1? Do I look like Thor now? Okay, now you're just being mean.